Welcome to the Collector Cave, and tonight we have a brand new figure from Mezco, the Amazing Spider-Man Deluxe version, which is um, based on classic Spider-Man. So not an MCU version, just kind of straight out of the comic, like 60s look. And Mezco has been doing more of this lately uh, with classic figures. We had the Batman, um, there's a Robin coming out. We had, of course, Doctor Doom with the Fantastic Four. Um, a Captain America a long time ago. So I love when Mezco does the classic stuff because I prefer that over over movie uh, material, movie looks. So this Spider-Man, um, the packaging is really cool. I haven't even opened them up yet. I haven't looked at any reviews in this figure. I've seen some promo shots, so I've kind of kept myself unspoiled for this review. And just looking at the box art, it is so cool. I don't know if this is um, Romita art or, or who, or if it's um, Mezco's own person doing the art. But um, you have pictures, of course, of Spider-Man, but then you have shots of like the Sinister Six. Like, you know, here's Vulture, wraps around. Um, you got, who else do we have on here? There's Craven the Hunter up here. Craven's right there. You got Green Goblin showing up right here. Actually, that's Mysterio, my mistake, Mysterio. More Craven the Hunter, Green Goblin comic right here. On the side, more uh, comic panels. That classic, you know, 60s look of Spidey. So it's a very cool box. And it's a thicker box. Even though it's smaller in, I think, height and, and width, it's a lot deeper. And this is a deluxe version, so it comes with a lot of accessories. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a bit more look at what's inside. Okay, so every 112th collective Mezco toy comes with this. Uh, pretty much telling you about the product care, you know, how to take care of the figure, how not to overextend uh, any joints when you're posing them, and also particularly for ages 18 and up. So this is not a toy, it's for collectors only, ages 18 and up. And then we got some directions here uh, for Spidey. He's got quite a few accessories, as I mentioned. Um, he even has some batteries, which I don't think I remember seeing there's batteries. Batteries for the camera? What? Oh, no, that's the head. I don't know why I thought it was the camera. Batteries for the head. The eyes light up. I don't remember seeing that in the promos. That's interesting. So the battery type is LR521. Uh, it seems like every Mezco figure takes a different type of battery. So if you ever need batteries, they're on the directions. Um, it shows you about the camera. Um, there's different posing straps you can attach. And then um, you have a web shield, which is pretty cool. I think that's a new effect for a Spidey figure. And then he's got a mask, so you can have the unmasked Parker, Peter Parker. And then the spider sense effect plugs in on the posing post behind his head. So I'm curious to see how that looks. Um, yeah, very curious to see how that looks. And then he comes with a parachute, a web parachute, which is <laughs> pretty crazy. Um, you know, I don't remember that from the, maybe from the comics, maybe the cartoon show. Or maybe Mezco made it up. I can't even remember. There's been so many Spidey stories with cartoons and comics. But it's it's cool nonetheless. And that's it. So if you look here now at the figure, uh, one thing I always love about Mezco is all the head sculpts they provide. And in this case, we get five head sculpts. And some of these are really cool. Like this um, Spider-Sense one where it's half Peter Parker and half Spidey. I love that look. It's so cool. Then you have a, a Peter Parker head sculpt right here by itself. And then three different ones with different um, size eyes, which is kind of the norm for Spidey nowadays. If you get hot toys, they come with interchangeable magnetic eyes doing the same thing. And then this piece here um, is webbing that goes over um, a figure's face, like he swept him in the face. Here is, I believe, the, the parachute. This thing is pretty big, made out of plastic, a little pliable, kind of pliable. And then he also comes with a web backpack. And then there's the spider sense, um, a newspaper, which is plastic, doesn't open. And then down here you have um, the camera. And then he comes with, um, I think it's the spidey tracker or spider tr tracer with little spider bots. And this top one is the tracer, I believe and then some extra straps for the camera for posing it. And then we have the second layer. And the second layer is pretty much all his webs and hands. And the, the mask, I don't know if that's plastic. I think it's plastic, that mask, we'll see. And then this is a new one, a web that can maybe go around someone's waist. I don't remember seeing that in a Spidey figure from Mezco. 
and then these, uh, I think, six spider bots or spidey sensors, and then a ton of hands. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So eight pairs of hands, plus the pair of fists he comes with. So nine pairs of hands. And the final uh, lower level has the uh, spidey shield, which is actually smaller than it looked in the picture, opposing wire, and then this is the one I think for the spidey sense. So we'll see how that works. And then a thing to insert the batteries, two batteries for the eye light up function, and then your Amazing Spider-Man base, and then this Spidey, which I think is another base maybe, or maybe just a display piece. So let's get all this stuff unpackaged, there's a lot here, put it out on the table, and look at it in closer detail. Okay, and here's everything outside of packaging, and wow, it was a lot of stuff, um, quite a bit. If we go into detail here with some of this stuff, let's see here. So up front here, we are seeing um, his camera, which I put one of the straps on, and those straps were not easy to get on. There's a slot in each side of the camera, and those ends just slot in. I was hoping they were magnetic, but they weren't. And then there's a second posting strap. Um, that one seems a little bit longer, maybe. And then the newspaper, and the newspaper is pretty cool. If, you, if I can zoom in and get it, um, it says Daily Bugle, Spider-Man's identity still a mystery. And then the second uh, story down below says Banner Gamma Experiments at Critical Stage. So is that a hint that Mezco is gonna be giving us um, a classic Hulk figure? I mean, they have the mold from the Gladiator one from, from Ragnarok. I'd imagine they have to make quite a few changes to that, but that is pretty cool. And on the back, um, again, kind of hard to read, but it says uh, Spidey, uh, Spider Save City again, and then Spider-Man's secret identity finally revealed, question mark. So this is plastic, it's not, um, it's not, oh, it can't open it, it's not like real paper, which I'm fine with. And then here's these uh, spider tracers, there's six of them. I just have two of them out right now with the spider tracer tracker. And then here's some of the webbing that goes on someone's face, like he's webbed their face. There's the web backpack. And in this stuff, um, if I zoom out, I think it is actually pretty um, transparent. So let's see if we get this light to go on. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is a little bit. I don't know why you'd light that up, but there's a little transparency there. So I think this web backpack is pretty cool. Oops. I like it. I like it quite a bit. I might actually probably display him with his backpack on. It's just really cool looking. Reminds me of the backpacks from um, the PlayStation game, the first one. Where he webbed them to, to different spots in the city. And then here is the uh, the shield. Which, um, you know, goes around his arm here. It's pliable, a little pliable. Like a hard plastic. And then down here we have some more webbings. This is one that you attach. You take the hand off, off the peg and put this on and then put the hand on. That's how these uh, attach. And then you have this one that goes around someone's waist, which is pretty cool. And then this long one, which this one actually has bendy wire in it, which this is nothing new. The other Spider-Man had this as well. So you can bend this however you want um, to wrap around somebody. It's not one that's shot out of his hand, as you can see. There's no spot to go on his wrist, um, but it's still cool they give you this. And then you have a long one, which plugs in um, to his hand, I believe. I can't remember. Like you shoot a long shot. And then this one here is for the, uh, the parachute, which I will get set up um, for a shot in a few minutes. And then he's got a bunch of head sculpts. And I'll put these on individually here in a second. But then here's the mask that he can hold, like he's unmasked, which is plastic. It's not, it's not fabric. Same with these head sculpts. They're all plastic. There's no fabric on the Spidey suit for the head. But I love that third one, the half Parker, half Spidey head, head sculpt. You saw that in the comics a lot. When his spider sense would go off, that would kind of show up and it'd be in the background. So they definitely have the 60s look. I think that's Romita's work. Um, that look with those round glasses, um, pretty cool. And he almost has like a, um, what do they call that head, head um, that haircut, buzz cut or something like that. I can't remember what they had in the 60s. But anyway, here's here's Spidey, uh, classic suit Spidey. 
It looks really good. Um, the head it comes with is probably my least favorite as far as those eyes. I prefer the, the bigger open eyes. Um, but I'll put those on in a second. But yeah, the, the figure looks really good. Classic, you know, red and blue Spidey, which is nice. Um, and if we spin him around, he has the classic, you know, red spider symbol on his back. You can kind of see the stitching, the stitch work there above the belt. They did a really good job with the stitch work, um, as they always do. I mean, you see it, but it's, you know, it's done really well. So as far as articulation, let's back out here. We'll do a little articulation, then I'll put the, I'll put the head down. His arms can go out all the way. You can see it does bunch up, though. This is printed on plastic, like they like to do, Mezco. Um, this, this blue is fabric. The blue is fabric. I would caution if your hands have anything on them that this fabric might catch those and, and pull. Um, it happens in a lot of Hot Toys figures that have material like this. So be very cautious with your nails on your fingers, things like that, that it doesn't catch and snag this blue material. But the head can go up, you know, pretty good. So you can get him like he's diving down. Um, the head goes down really good. And then, you know, you can tilt it really great you know, all the way around. The neck is also articulated, which gives you a little bit more, the ball joint. Um, bicep swivel, and then uh, double double elbow joints, and then the ball hinge wrist, which they always give you. And then there is an upper um, torso, which it's kind of hard to move, but it is there. And then the, the lower torso, so you can get some good twist, some pretty good twist. You can see the suit they're pulling, but it's, it's okay. It's not doing anything bad. And then crunch forward for a Mezco figure, pretty good. And then crunch back, you know, really good for a Mezco figure. I think this is the same Spidey body they've been using for quite a while. I don't think they've made any alterations to it that I'm aware of. Uh, leg kicks up way over 90. Double jointed knee. And then let's check out the feet. Because these are always, I'm always curious about the feet with Mezco. Um, he doesn't really go down at all. They go up pretty good. Down, not at all. And then a rocker. Do they have rocker? Man. He has, yeah, he's got a rocker. He does have rocker. I always wish Mezco would give a little bit more rocker, especially on like figures like this on Spider Man. But um, regardless, not too bad. Um, let me pull this head off and put in the next one. And this one is the one that has the battery. There's only one that lights up, it's this one right here. So I'll have to figure out. I think I know how that works. It's different than the Cyclops and um, cable figures from a couple years ago. There's no cylinder in the neck, which is good. I don't think it worked out too well with that. The necks were too long. So here's this look. This is probably my favorite mask sculpt that comes with. I love the big eyes. Classic Spidey. Awesome. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that looks so good. I know it's a little jarring going from like the fabric to a plastic head sculpt. I know Hot Toys does it too with some of their Spider-Man figures. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with it. It's not bad. These heads are really popping on tight here. That was better. This one looks almost the same, just no light-up feature. Are they the same? Nope. The eyes on the left are a little bit bigger. Yep. Just a little bit bigger. Not much. Um, this one's cool looking too. Very close to the other one, I think. And then probably my favorite head sculpt is right here. Man, that is, that is awesome. His glasses are actually um, attached. You can't, they're not, they're not, they're attached to the, the head sculpt, the hair. But look at that. Look at that. I would argue that this head sculpt really should be on um, Pete with his, you know, civilian get up, like, you know, normal clothes when he was in school and not the Spidey body. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I'll take this head sculpt anytime I can get it. Uh, I do have some mark on the glasses there. But it's still, if I can get closer, maybe. Boy, it's really close. You know, the, it's not bad. I mean, it looks really good. You get that Spidey sense up behind him. We'll figure that out in a minute. And I think that head sculpt looks really good. Very cool. 
And then you have the fourth or the fifth head sculpt, which is just unmasked Pete. Yeah, yeah, Mesco's gone full 60s with this. The hair is kind of glossy. The paint they use is kind of glossy for that. I don't know what uh, what choice that why that was. Maybe they're thinking the comic look. It's I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. It's just I'm not used to seeing glossy hair like that from Mesco. Typically, it's it's more of a, a muted look or a dull finish. But overall, I mean, that's a pretty good you know 60s looking Peter Parker head sculpt. A little too close there, I think. Yeah. Very cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at the directions for some of the stuff and get the uh, the batteries in the head and light up the eyes and see how that looks. All right, so some bad news here. This was nearly impossible to take out of this head, head right here. You can see where the eyes, that plastic, they will light up. But to pull the ball peg out, according to the directions, was nearly impossible. I had to use tweezers. And as I pulled it out, I was being extremely careful as I always am with Mezco stuff, the actual on-off switch came out, came out of here. And there's a piece of metal that came off. It's just a mess and it won't work. It's like dead. So I went to contact Mezco, unfortunately. I don't know if other people have had this problem. I've tried um, using tweezers to turn it, get them in there to maybe turn it on manually without having that button in there, but it's just, it's toast. So unfortunately this uh, light up eye thing doesn't even work. Which, I don't know, it seems kind of odd and spidey for me anyway. But disappointing that out of the box, this was so difficult to pull out of here. I think the Justice League Superman, the black suit, is the same way. And I had no problem pulling that out and lighting it up. <sighs> so terrible. I was afraid to heat it up, too. I didn't want to use a hair dryer because of the, all the electronics in this thing for the batteries. I didn't know if that would do something to it. So just word of caution, if you get this figure... Um, Hopefully yours isn't jammed like mine is. It just would not come out. So that's disappointing. But let's go on to uh, the next thing. One thing I forgot to show is the base. Um, really cool looking base, the Amazing Spider-Man. Nice blue, I like it a lot. This um, is not a base, and it's actually uh, like um, rubber. It folds. So I think it's supposed to be like his spider symbol that you saw sometimes he would use. Um, or you could use it as a mat for him to stand on, maybe, or sit on. It's cool. Uh, there's nothing, there's no sticker material on the back. It's just plastic, rubbery plastic. Um, but cool that they gave it as well. All right, so here is Spider-Man with the web parachute. Kind of a finicky thing to get on. Um, there's a couple ways you can do it. The hands they give you, the gripping hands, aren't the best. Uh, these are the hands that I found to work best on it, and they're not really gripping very good. You have to use a stand for this thing to stay up. And so he kind of sits on it, um, and it's, you know, it should be probably blowing the other way, but the way it is, it's just hard to make this thing kind of, you know, look good. I have to futz with it a lot more. I don't have time right now, but you get the idea, the basic idea of, you know, you could pose him on a detolf, you know, with this, with this web parachute, and I think it would hold up. Um, pretty cool. You know, a lot of the accessories they give are, are really cool options. And I just, some things I was never going to use, like I probably won't be using this. Maybe, you know, I swatch, swap them out my detolf for a different pose once in a while. But uh, anyway, it's, you know, some, something outside the box and cool they gave it to him. All right, here's Spidey with his web shield and his web backpack. Pretty cool look. Reminds me of like Wonder Woman or Cap, you know, having a shield. And I know I've used, he's used this before in the comics and, you know, stopping like knives and stuff and even bullets to some degree. So that's, uh, you know, pretty cool. Pretty cool accessory. And you just, you unplug the hand, slide the arm through those two uh, handles and the shield and then plug the hand back in. And uh, there's his web shield. Pretty cool detail. You know, intricate, you know, you can, you can tell he took his time with a bunch of webs with this. Mesco did a good job detailing that. Same with the backpack. Almost like um, a spider web from the inside out. Really cool detail on that backpack. I like that a lot. Okay, and here's Peter with his uh, mask off 
and he's got uh, the camera around his neck. I used the longer, the longer loop for the neck for the camera, and it seemed to work better than that shorter one. And he's releasing his uh, his spider bots or his spider tracers, and he's got the spider tracer in his hand. So uh, pretty cool that he can do something like this. I, I do have him pegged into the base because he wouldn't really stand or stay in this pose uh, without being pegged in. Just as a note. But those little spider uh, tracers are pretty cool. And they gave you six of them. That way, if you lose a couple, you got you still have some. Like the batterings, they always give you a lot. They're like a silver paint. Very metallic looking. And uh, there's that spider tracer tracker that he uses. There's his camera. Um, and then there's the uh, unmasked head sculpt. Let's get a picture of Pete with uh, the spider sense head. All right, here's Pete with a spider sense behind him, which is a cool look. Um, kind of weird how they um, did this. It would have been cool if it would have been magnetic somehow to stick on the back of his head sculpt. But it goes on to, uh, it's another arm that goes on to the posing post, like so. Um, and it just attaches in the posing post and then it plugs into the back of the effect piece. So I, I guess you could maybe have him in the air with this as well if you got creative with it. But just a standing pose like this is, is kind of how it's going to look, which is still pretty cool. That's a, a classic shot there from, um, from the comics. Pete with his uh, half his mask on and his exposed face and then the, the spider sense going off. So really cool. Uh, let's do a couple comparisons. All right, here's the Amazing Spider-Man Deluxe figure on the left next to uh, Spider-Man from Homecoming. Kind of an old figure now. And the Homecoming Spider-Man looks just maybe a tad bit taller, just or almost exactly the same size. Um, but he's got the darker blue. He's got the lines, you know, the, the stark tech in his lines there from the suit. I, I love the classic look better, but it's a nice comparison. And here's Spidey next to Dr. Doom. Doom Dwarf Spidey. He's huge. Kind of a cool uh, squaring off there. Old school Secret Wars kind of deal. Pretty neat. Yeah, pretty cool. Like it. And there's Spider-Man next to Red Eye Crimson Knight Edition uh, Gomez. And Gomez is much taller than Spidey too. But those colors go together really good. Those reds pop in both those figures. Looks nice. All right, finally we have um, Spidey, both doing both of them doing Spidey poses. We got on the right, um, that's from um, Far From Home. I think the advanced suit is what it was called. Tom Holland, the black and red with the white spider um, logo on the back. And then our Amazing Spider-Man Deluxe on the left which uh, looks pretty good. You know, you, you can get into some dynamic poses with this figure, not extreme like maybe um, Mafex ones or things like that, or even H S S S H F, but you can still get pretty good, pretty good poses. You know, some of the um, suits bunching up around the hips down there, but overall, I mean, for a Mezco figure that's, um, you know, got um, a suit around it, fabric around it, not exposing the joints, um, he does pretty good. So, yeah, pretty cool figure. Um, I like it. So, at the end of the day, I think this is a really good release. Um, disappointed that my, my light-up head broke. I'll have to take some pictures and, and email Mezco. They'll probably send me a head. Uh, they're pretty good about replacing stuff. It just takes a while. Uh, their customer service is very slow. But um, other than that, I really like this release. Um, I, I didn't get a picture with the camera. Yeah. There's two hands you use for the camera. It was just really tough um, to get him to actually hold it. I'd have to spend a lot more time, which I don't have right now. But um, the camera definitely is a cool piece um, addition to this. And uh, especially this Peter Parker head sculpt. The half and half. I love it. Uh, but yeah, great figure. Really like it a lot. There's a, there's a Green Goblin coming out to match this. Um, classic Green Goblin, which is shipping soon as well. Can't wait to get my hands on that. And I saw there was Doc Ock teased. So classic Doc Ock coming away. Hopefully Mezco makes all the Sinister Six. That would be amazing. And maybe a Hulk, you know, according to um, according to this this right here. Banner Gamma Experiments at Critical Stage. 
So he's not the Hulk yet in this in this Daily Bugle article. So we might be getting a Hulk, a classic Hulk down the road. Very cool. So let me know your thoughts on this Spidey figure. Very classic look. Are you liking the classic um, figures that Mezco's doing? Or do you prefer the MCU? Whatever the case, um, you know, please comment. I like to interact with you guys on this kind of stuff. Like and subscribe if you like the content. And we'll see you in the next video.